Hello everyone, in this video we will tell you about our complete 3 week itinerary in Vietnam. Let's start with some background information. In April 2023, we spent 3 weeks in Vietnam. We opted for this time as we had planned on going from the north to the south of Vietnam. Weather-wise, that seems to be a good choice, as Vietnam has 3 different types of weather. If you want to know more about that, we made a Vietnam travel tips video. Anyway, when we started planning our trip and saw everything there is to see in Vietnam, we realized that going from north to south would be just too much and that we would be skipping a lot. Plus, we really wanted to visit Sapa, the northernmost part of Vietnam. There was also the fact that Tina was pregnant and that we didn't know how it would go while traveling. Those were the main reasons we gave up the south and decided to stop in the center of Vietnam. The main advantages of their choice was that we also had more time everywhere. Our itinerary was the following. Day 1, arrive in Hanoi. Day 2 and 3, Hanoi. Day 4 to 7, Sapa. Day 8 to 10, cruise in Lan Ha and Ha Long Bay. Day 11 to 13, Tam Kok. Day 14 to 16, Hue. Day 17 to 20, Hoi An. Day 21, return. One thing we also skipped was the Phong Na region, where you have stunning cave. The main reason being that you have to take an 8 hour bus to get there from Tam Kok. We played it safe and relaxed. From Tam Kok, we went back to Hanoi to fly to Hue directly, and skipping Phong Na. After doing it, we must say that we really enjoyed our trip in Vietnam and wouldn't change our itinerary. The first day will be mostly about getting there, so fly to Hanoi, pass the custom, get a SIM card, transfer to your accommodation and check in. After taking a well deserved shower, head out for a first row around the city center of the capital of Vietnam. Just get lost around, have fun crossing streets in between the herd of scooter, and go grab a bite. We opted for the Hanoi Social Club, which was a really nice place to be. From there, kept on strolling around the old town and finally walk or take a grab back to your accommodation to rest. Start the day with a good and healthy breakfast. As today, the real and sweaty adventure starts. Start by visiting Saint Joseph Cathedral of Hanoi, the oldest church in Vietnam, inspired by Notre Dame de Paris. And don't miss out the interior of the church that deserves to be seen, especially if a ceremony is taking place. Next, head to one of the most unique coffee shops in town, the Not Coffee. It may even be time to try your first Vietnamese coffee. One thing that you shouldn't miss out is a manicure or a pedicure. Price for those are great and the service top notch. From there, simply walk around, stop in a few shops, visit a few temples, pass by the beer street and have lunch at Huang's, a traditional Vietnamese restaurant with a yummy vegetarian option. It is now time to get the ticket for the Water Puppet Show, so head to the lake, get the ticket and while waiting the start of the show, visit the Ngoc Song Temple located on the Hong Kien Lake. If you still have time, it could be the opportunity to try an egg coffee at Cafe Guian, which claimed to be the original place where egg coffee was invented. Or you could also try Eden Gem coffee for a cozier place. It's now time for the Walla Puppet Show that lasts for 15 minutes and is one of the best things we did in Hanoi. After the show, you will most probably be hungry, so let's try some local food at Tug's Kitchen. Finally, Finish the day by walking back into the street of Hanoi city center and if you fancy it, you can try to get to the train street. In the second day in Hanoi, let's explore the historical part of the town. Take a grab to the Temple of Literature, a temple dedicated to Confucius that hosts the Imperial Academy, Vietnam's first national university. Then take a small break at Kong Cafe to try out the famous coconut coffee of Vietnam. Your next stop is just around the corner, the Imperial Citadel of Quan Long, a massive historical and UNESCO site that was built in the year 1011. For lunch, try out a delicious vegan buffet at Veggie Castle. To start the afternoon, walk around the West Lake and admire some more of the local telecom. Later, visit the Tran Quoc Paganda, the oldest Buddhist temple in Hanoi. From there, start walking south, past the Quan Phan Temple to arrive at the last monument of the day, the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum, which is actually more the visit of the square. Hanoi has lots of cube coffee shops, so let's try another one. 
take a grab to loading tea coffee and enjoy some fresh herbal tea. Next, you can stroll some more around the whole quarter and for dinner, why not try a pizza at 4 piece Pizza Baokan. Don't worry, if you have things you still want to do in Hanoi, you will be back the last day of this itinerary. Early morning, take a luxurious van to get to Sapa. You will arrive around 1 pm if you leave with the 6.40 am van. Once in town, you can start with lunch at Good Morning Vietnam, a nice restaurant located 400 meters from the cathedral. It will then be time to get to your accommodation and check-in. Organize a scooter or a hiking day with a local for the next days. There are many accommodations in Sapa, but we opted for one in the middle of nature, a bit outside of town. In the afternoon, visit the small but cute town of Sapa, and later on head to Kat Kat village, where you can experience local culture, performances, and even see locals dressed with traditional clothes. Today will be a full day hiking tour around the Hamong Valley. After breakfast, start by meeting with your guide. Ours was named Mimi and was amazing. With her, you will hike through the villages in the valley, past a bamboo forest and even a waterfall. It isn't too hard and take up to six and a half hours with one hour lunch break. This is one of the best thing you can do in Sapa as you get to learn so much about the local culture and you can ask your guide tons of questions. Make stop to take picture or video or just to make a simple break. We learned so much with Mimi and you can even try some step of making clothes. Once back in your accommodation, you can take a warm shower and then enjoy some fresh juices and for dinner, hope to stay in your accommodation and never nearly sleep. After a traditional breakfast, go on your rented scooter and drive to the Love Waterfall, some 35 minutes away. There, you will hike 15 minutes between stunning vegetation before discovering the waterfall itself. Then drive another 10 minutes to Tranton Pass, also called Evans Gate. On this road, you have a super scenic view of the valley and mountain around, if the weather is good, which we didn't have. From there, drive back towards Sapa and stop at Sun World to take the cable car up to Fancy Pan, the highest peak of Indochina. We would recommend doing this only if you have a nice weather because on a cloudy day, you won't see a thing up there. Once out of Fancy Pan, drive to Sapa City Center and have lunch at the Lady Bird Hotel, coffee and restaurant. They have great food options and are located next to the city center. Then you can stroll in Sapa, walk back the lake and discover more of the small town. In the morning, chill and rest in your accommodation. This is actually a great moment to enjoy some more views of the region while sipping a fresh fruit juice. For your last lunch in town, try out the vegan option and Fang Dong Vegan. It is located next to the city center and is therefore the perfect place to be. Early afternoon, take the van back to Hanoi. You will arrive around 8.15 pm and need to be ready for the big day coming next. One alternative would be to leave with a van back to Hanoi in the morning and then to have the whole afternoon in Hanoi. Today, you embark on a three-day, two-night cruise on one of the famous Vietnamese cruises in Halong Bay and Lan Ha Bay. The first part of the day will be transportation until the ship. So start early with a breakfast and then hop on the minibus that is waiting for you. After getting lots of information from a guide, you will arrive at the port, where you will board a small boat to reach the main one. At the end of morning, you will be on board the cruise ship. After some more guidelines, you will get your room key. It will then be time to discover your room and its amazing view. Time for lunch, which is a buffet. After that, you will have some time to enjoy your room and visit the boat. Later, it will be time for your first excursion, which will be a tour of the bright and dark cave on a wooden rowing boat. Then, you will be brought back to the main cruise, where at 5.30 pm you can try the spring rolls cooking class, and then enjoy a drink and some snack on the upper deck. At 7 pm, dinner will be served. Be ready for some amazing and tasteful food. At night, you can try squish fishing, 
in the rear of the boat. Good luck! Today you will be going on a full day out, but before that, start with the 6.30 am Tai Chi class on the upper deck. After a light breakfast, embark on the day tour boat. After getting more people on board, you will be heading to Katba Island. There, you will be presented with two choices to reach Viet Hai village. The first one is to take an electric tuk-tuk, the second one is to ride there. Once in Viet Hai village, you will learn about the tradition of the island and the best part is that you can try food massage by fish, which is super weird and I wonder how long you will let your feet in the water. Then, after visiting some more houses and learning about Vietnamese tradition, it's time to get back to the boat for lunch. Once lunch finish, it will be time to kayak in the bay and discover a fish farm. And finally, later on, you will be able to swim to a small beach if you feel like it. That will be the end of the excursion and you will be transferred back to the main ship where you can chill and enjoy the view of the bay, see some of the local boat store and discuss with people around. To finish the day, it will be another massive, delicious, multiple course dinner. It's the last time that you will wake up on the cruise, so let's make the most of it. Some Tai Chi in the morning, followed by a light breakfast. And then two choices. Either to enjoy the upper deck under the sun of the bay, or to go kayaking in this part of the bay. By 10 am, brunch will be served. Which is another multiple course meal actually. It will then be time to say goodbye to the cruise, take back a smaller boat and head back to the port. From there, you will take a VIP bus to Tamcock directly. The road takes up to 4 hours with one break. Once in Tamcock, check in your accommodation, borrow two bikes and head for dinner at Chuki's Beer Garden for an amazing dinner in a beautiful place. For your first full day in Tamcock, rent a scooter, as you will be out the whole day. The first stop will be the Biding Temple, a complex of Buddhist temples including the original temple and more recent ones. Plus, it is considered the largest complex of Buddhist temple in Vietnam. The visit of the temple takes a few hours, as it is massive. Once out, hop back on your scooter and head toward the Van Long Reserve. Before it, make a lunch stop in a local restaurant. Food there is really great and you will see more of the local culture. Then get two tickets for the Van Long boat tour and once on your boat, enjoy some stunning view of the area. To continue with the day, drive and visit Hoa Lu Chien capital, which was the capital of Vietnam from 968 to 1009. However, it's actually quite small, and consists only of two small temples to visit. The final stop of the day will be right opposite of Hoa Lu, the Am Tien Cave. A stunning sight, really quiet, with a little lake in the middle, where you can see a beautiful gate and enjoy a walk around the lake. From there, head back to your accommodation to end the day. Second day in Tam Kok, and you will also need a scooter. The first stop being the Beach Dong Pagoda, a nice religious place where you can see local ceremony. The second stop will be the famous Tam Kok Boat Tour, that takes you through stunning rice fields and between mountains, along the Eng Dong River. The particularity of this boat is that the rower rows with its legs. The third stop will be Chuki's Beer Garden for lunch, as well as enjoying the little swimming pool during the hottest part of the day. The fourth stop will be the best thing to do in Tamcock, Trang An Boat Tour, which is the only boat tour recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Choose one of the routes along the scenic area and be amazed by its caves, temples and sceneries. The final stop of the day will be the Moa Cave. Despite its name, it's actually a viewpoint, where you get the postcard picture of Tamcock after climbing some 500 steps. For dinner, we would recommend to try Ban Mi Hanoi, another really nice restaurant with super friendly staff and yummy food. This day will be about traveling to the next destination, which is Hue, in central Vietnam. In the morning, take it easy, go for a small bike ride within the rice field, grab some takeaway lunch and Ban Mi Hanoi and pack your things. Transfer to Hanoi Airport in a van, departing around 11.45 am and arriving in the airport at 2 pm. Then, fly to Hue. Once in Hue, transfer to your accommodation. 
check in, take a shower, and it will already be time for dinner. For that, we would recommend Nook in Tori, our favorite restaurant in Rue. Rue is the historical capital of Vietnam, so there will be lots of cultural and historical sites to visit. Let's start with the Imperial Citadel. To get there, use the Nguyen Ding Chu walking street, which provides a beautiful walk along the Perfume River. Then, visit the Imperial Citadel, which houses the ancient Imperial City and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was the former Imperial capital of Vietnam during the Nguyen Dynasty. It contains the palaces that housed the Imperial family as well as shrines, gardens and villas for mandarins. Constructed in 1803 under Emperor Gia Long as the new capital, it mostly served a ceremonial function during the French colonial period. Next, visit the Dong Ban Market, a local market where you can get everything you want. Those markets are always fun to visit. For lunch, we would recommend once again going to Nukitori. In the afternoon, rent a scooter and visit the Tian Mu Pagoda. One of the things that you can really enjoy in Hue is how organized it is, and driving a scooter around is super enjoyable, especially along the Perfume River. Tian Mu Pagoda is known for its 7 story Fugduyen Pagoda, which is regarded as the unofficial symbol of Rue and its temple has often been the subject of folk crimes. Next stop will be the Tudam Temple, which also featured a magnificent pagoda, and after that the Rue Archdiocese Cathedral, also called the Fukam Cathedral. To finish the afternoon, you can visit the Andin Palace, a nearly 20th century palace and home of Vietnam's last kings. And to finish the day, enjoy some refreshment at Rueti Roster and then visit the bar district. Today you will need energy, as there are three tombs and more on the program. The first stop is the furthest away, the mausoleum of Emperor Ming Mong, located 12 km outside of Rue. The tomb was constructed around 1840. It is said to be the most majestic of all Nguyen dynasty royal tombs. Next, and not too far, was the mausoleum of Emperor Kaiding, a tomb built for Kaiding, the 12th emperor of the Nguyen dynasty, that featured a blend of Vietnamese architecture mixed with western style. To make a break from the tombs, time for the Thuy Tien Lake abandoned water park, that gained notoriety for its short operational period and has become a major destination in Rue due to its dragon construction in the center. For lunch, drive back to Rue Center and try the Koai Spine Cake at Nina's Cafe Restaurant. Then, take a little break in your accommodation. Once full of energy, hop back on the scooter and leave for the last tomb of the day, the Mausoleum of Emperor Tuduk. Built in 1867, the site is divided into a temple area and a tomb area. To continue your exploration of Rue, drive a few minutes away to discover the viewpoint on Vong Khan Hill. Time to call it a day and drive back to the city center. But let's make a final stop at Chu Yu Pagoda, a peaceful place with a beautiful pond and a garden. And to finish the day, once again, we would recommend Nukitori. In the morning, after breakfast, take a grab to the train station, where you will take the SC1 train to Danong and then transfer to Hoi An by car. Once checked in your accommodation, borrow two bikes and head to the old town of Royan. Then stroll around the old town, which is incredible, and visit some store. They are all so cute and all look so amazing. For dinner, you can try some local food at Nuitori, located right after the Japanese bridge. A famous thing to do in Royan is to get custom clothes. So, Start by adding to a tailor and get some done. Choose a few of them, pick a color, get measure, and later on you will be back for one or two fitting. Don't forget to negotiate a bit the price. After that, let's go for a coffee and tea degustation at the Reaching Out Tea House. The place is amazing and the service is done by deaf people. They also have an amazing store in the back. Then stroll around the old town during the day. It will be less crowded and really enjoyable. Next order of business will be a lantern making class at the Lantern Lady, 
where you can choose the size, shape and up to 4 fabrics for the lantern. And as it's foldable, it's easy to carry with you while traveling. For lunch, we would recommend Nourishitori. The place is super cozy and we love the food. They have amazing smoothie and super nice food. After a quick stop at your accommodation to get ready, spend the afternoon at Anang Beach. And in the evening, go back to the old town, stroll around and get some dinner in one of the many restaurants there. Once again, you will need a scooter, as today we will start by visiting My Sun Sanctuary, a cluster of abandoned and partially ruined Shaiva Hindu temple. And it is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Between the 4th and 13th centuries, a unique culture which owe its spiritual origin to Indian Hinduism developed in the region of Vietnam. My son is the remain of a dramatic site that was the religious and political capital of the Champa Kingdom for most of its existence. To continue, drive back toward Hoi An, make a small stop at the Phang Ha Pottery Village and then have lunch at Nourishitori. In the afternoon, we would recommend to try another beach. This try you could try the coconut one. In the evening, let's get back to the old town. It is that magnificent that you cannot get bored of it. Last full day in town, so let's make most of it. Hop on a scooter and drive to the Marble Mountain, a cluster of five marble and limestone mountains that are named after the five elements. All of the mountains have cave entrances and numerous tunnels, and it is possible to climb to the summit of Mount Fue as well as visit several Buddhist sanctuary. Once out, drive back to Hoi An for lunch. I am sure you guessed it, lunch will be at Nourishitori. And in the afternoon, let's try one more beach. This time, let's get a taste of the Three Coconut Beach. But before, why not take a swim at your accommodation? The evening, head one final time to the old town. Try some street food and stroll for the last time our favorite city in Vietnam. After breakfast, transfer from Hoi An to Da Nang Airport, which takes around 40 minutes. Then fly to Hanoi, to be there beginning of the afternoon. Once back in Hanoi, check in your accommodation, drop your bag and start by having lunch. We opted once again for Tux Kitchen, but this time on the terrace. From there, you could do a more luxury manicure and pedicure at Aurora Nails and Spa. And then go to the train street, if you couldn't get there first. Be sure to call the owner of Railway Coffee to pick you up. There you can meet some really nice people and have an amazing time drinking a beer or anything else while waiting for the train. To finish the day, why not another pizza at Pizza for P Baoken and then a final stroll in the bustling streets of Hanoi. And that's it! It's the end of Vietnam and this itinerary. Time to go to the airport and fly back home. We hope that you have enjoyed this itinerary. If you too are planning a trip to Vietnam, we made a little something to help you. The Vietnam Travel Map. This digital map includes all our PIN from our 3 week traveling Vietnam, as well as all our preparation PIN for Southern Vietnam. Therefore, our Vietnam map includes all the places we visited. Hanoi, Sapa, Ha Long Lan Ha Bay, Tam Cock Ning Bi, Hue and Hoi An as well as all our preparation for Phong Na, Na Trong, Dala, Mue Ne, Ho Chi Minh City and Phu Koc. The best reason to get this map is that you won't need to spend time pinning all our and others tips and recommendations. Instead, you will get the full map from this destination for online and offline use. So check it out with the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Support us by subscribing to our channel, leaving a comment or liking the video.